All right, so we're starting with an empty garage. I got my engine on a stand. And then <laughs> everything else is out here. The bikes are out, seats out to make room. And uh, there you go. There, there's where we're starting. Um, it's got everything on it, uh, but I'm gonna pull it all off and really get started with everything else. So right now I'm just trying to get in the garage. Um, it's kind of hard, there's no brakes, just the handbrake in it right now, it's not mounted. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. Alright, so we've gone full go-kart. Um, you can see the tube front now. Uh, tube front, cage, rear tube was all done by Grimm, Alex Grimm, at Siege Chassis Works. Um, probably seen him on the Hoonigans or whatever. But, uh, yeah, I wanted to go pretty basic, still front radiator. Um, I think there's so much distance between the front bumper and the radiator that it's like not even an issue to damage it. Um, plus, the weight balance of this car is actually questionably rear because of the IRS now and then aluminum block. So I um, wasn't really worried about the weight issue either. Um, you see, it's a pretty basic setup. I didn't want to do anything crazy with the cage. Um, I know I haven't shown up the cage very much until now, but... Uh, it's tucked up there pretty high, tucked really close to the A-pillars. Um, we have the anti-intrusion bars in here now. Uh, and then these door bars were pretty simple. We changed this door bar, that's why it's not painted. Uh, it was a different style than the driver, and I wanted them to match this time. So uh, we changed that out. My handbrake's still in there just to stop the car when we roll it around. Um, you can see the fenders are cut out. Put the rib nuts in there for the over fenders. Uh, the trunk is all cut up. Got the fuel cell back there. Really minimalist uh, bash bar and taillight mounts. Me and Grim have a very similar style of what we like to do. Very, very minimal. Very easy to fix. Very light. Uh, not gaudy. Not intrusive or anything. So, really happy with the way this came out. Uh, you can see there's no windows, no pillar covers on it right now. Took the glass out. We're doing a polycarb rear window and a polycarb side windows. Um, I might put some ducting in there for smoke or something because these being cut out now, there's huge holes. I'm going to try to fill in those holes, but obviously you still have that issue. So um, depending on, on what I get to, I might put some NACA ducts in there. Looks cool too. Uh, I have to make a rear firewall cover, probably cover up that deck lid too. Um, then... You know, just minimal little little things. You can see there's no pedals or anything in it right now, just the steering shaft again. The only reason that's still in here is so that we can move it around, steer it. Um, but it's going to get a pedal box. No more uh, stock pedals. Um, so I'm going to really try to do a hanging pedal setup so there's still uh, hanging pedals and not on the on the floor. I really like the inverted pedal feel. And we'll see where we go. I've got to cover up all these holes in the firewall. I got some panels over here that I did before, but that was like a short attempt at doing it. So I think I'm going to redo those, probably weld something on. Um, then I can use those holes for bulkheads and stuff like that too. I might actually change them to bolt on. We'll see how it goes. Um, but here's the start. I wanted to, uh, to kind of give this update of where everything's at right now. Um, so yeah. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to put it back together.